are many jobs in the uh, games design industry, but the first one I'll be talking about is the 3D modeler. 3D modeler technically has no entry requirements, but there is it is better to, for getting a job if you show some sort of portfolio to show off your skills. The 3D modeler will have many jobs such as, as you would expect, modeling and shaping characters and uh, objects. The average year salary for a 3D modeler is 28,000. In this video you can see the 3D modeler shaping the overall design of the Covenant Carrier and the hit game Halo. He starts the modeling by getting first getting the first shape of it. Once the, once the shape is done he moves on to the details that make the iconic Covenant ship look. He would also shape the characters, although that would probably be another team's job. The animator is a key part of the game's development, although no education degree is needed. Only a good portfolio will ensure a job place. The animator has to create the characters, movement and physical attributes, such as muscle def definition, knee joints and head movement. The yearly, yearly salary depends on the time you have been at the company. So if you are new at the company, then you are looking at 15,000, but are more experienced than 30,000. This video shows a animation tutorial to animate a girl character in a game. Most animators will have to do this, as it is a key part of game's design and development. Artist. The artist is one of the most or the most important person involved in designing a game because he or she is the one which creates and takes the image out of the heads of the designers and writers and makes it it makes them on paper real what the artist has to do is a very hard job because the artist has to try and get the images out of the designers head and onto paper without actually knowing what the designer wants out of the to be the final product so if the artist shows specific skills then they would make an exception but they do like you to have a, a degree in art the role of the artist is to own sketch ideas the average year, yearly salary is only 30,000 30, in this clip it shows an artist drawing a drawing for the hit game Call of Duty. It, show, it depicts three gunmen in a war zone firing at one another. Although this is only a sketch, this shows a very good understanding of what the designers and developers want from the game. If I can see, these elements are actually in the game. The game itself is dark, dim, and gloomy to represent war.
audio engineer. As in most roles in the media industry, a good portfolio is all you really need. Although the chances of getting the job are much greater if you have a music degree. The audio engineer is responsible for getting the character's voice and the theme tune and the soundtrack of the game right to show which is important. For example, if a game is aimed at under 10s, then it needs to be upbeat, fun and bright. The average yearly salary is 41,000, which in the game industry is very good. In this clip, it shows a audio engineer doing a job for the hit game Skyrim. In Skyrim, it needs deep medieval sounds to represent the game's aesthetic. So in this clip, it shows that he's working on adding both the choir and the orchestra and adding them both together to be to make a soundtrack for the game. It is all made up of a massive, uh, well it was actually 30 people recorded <laughs> multiple times but it sounds, uh, there's the choir by itself, it's like this. I'm really excited for fans to hear it for the first time. You know, we know it backwards and forwards now, but no one else has heard it. They haven't heard the lyrics that are in it or translated it to figure out what it means yet. Scriptwriter. The scriptwriter does not, does not need a degree, but the companies may want to see proof of your skills. You may need to give in a script from a past game you've worked on, or maybe a script you may want to incorporate into the game. The scriptwriter has a job of creating an, an appropriate script for a specific scene, like a death scene. You want it sad, if you if they know them, but cool, if it's a, you know. The average year, yearly salary is forty-two thousand. In this clip, you see a cutscene from Dark Souls, where the man in it is possessed, and the woman is a witch. So the scriptwriter has to write a script according to those guidelines, where it is creepy to show the audience that it has a death incorporated into it long ago in a walled off land far to the north a great king built a great kingdom i believe they called it drang lake perhaps you're familiar no how could you be but one day you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Level designer. A portfolio is needed to successfully plan a job interview. Although it is better to have a degree in design or software development. The level designer is obviously responsible for the design of levels and gives ideas of levels to the 3D modeler. Or even could design a 2D map. 
The average yearly salary is 57,000. In this clip, it shows you how to design a level, a level. Although this is not designing level as such, it does incorporate many different skills. A 3D modeling degree may be needed for this kind of job where he's designing the different walkways and rooms of a house or a manor. Localized technician or quality assurance tester. He tests the game for bugs and plays over and over shooting a cup or a wall lots of times to see if it crashes or fails. If it does crash or fail, he sends in a report to the office he works for. If it fails to react, then he'll write a review. He'll also jump on every wall and even walk into each wall. The technician will also need to be fluent in the specific area, for example, a German office will ship out certain parts of a game, sometimes only 20 minutes. Although it's, the language will be in German. An individual may even... There is no yearly salary, because it is usually freelance, where... Each of the jobs are done at home by ordinary people in their pastime. In this clip, it shows a tutorial on how to test games, whether it's how to shoot each object in certain ways or how to use each movement. The last part of this project is producer. The producer oversees the teams and he is the one that the team leader reports to. He checks if every team's information and work. He makes sure there are no problems or bugs and gives the teams help, although he does not work directly with the workers. They have to work to his deadlines. If the game does not fit his standards, he'll send it back down to the workers, who will incorporate his suggestions and change accordingly.